If you want to perform on stage with pre-recorded audio with MIDI, basically saying, if you want to use keys on stage, if you want to use tracks, click on stage, then you need to be using Ableton Live. Now, in a previous video, I discussed and answered the question, how much does Ableton Live cost? I even shared how you could get Ableton Live for free and how you could save money when purchasing live. I've included the link uh, to that video in the description of this video. But in today's video, I want to walk through the multiple editions of Ableton Live and talk about the difference between each feature set and kind of talk about which version, which edition of Ableton Live you should get. So let's dive in. The first thing I want to talk about, uh, we mentioned last week in last week's video that there's really three main editions of live, intro, standard, and suite. But before we get there, we did also mention this cool version of live called Live 11 Lite. Live 11 Lite comes often uh, with uh, hardware that you buy. You get a free disk, uh, a free download code. Um, maybe you buy a new MIDI controller. You could get a free version of Ableton Live, Ableton Live Lite, uh, that's completely free to you that you can start working with. So first, let's talk about the features of Ableton Live. Live Lite and, and kind of compare it to the other versions. Um, here's the main kind of big changes is uh, you're limited to 16 scenes. You're limited to two send and return tracks. The full version of Live has 12 uh, return tracks. You're limited to only eight mono input channels and eight uh, audio output channels. The full versions basically are unlimited. They're just kind of limited to what your computer can handle. And then you're limited to eight audio and MIDI tracks. Now you get some cool features within here um, in, in Live that are included in other versions. You get instrument racks, MIDI effect racks. Uh, but then when it comes to software instruments, this is limited as well too. You get drum racks rack, impulse, instrument rack, and simpler. And then as far as audio effects go, um, you get some basic audio effects that are included in uh, Live Lite. Uh, they're, they're good. They're not all of them though. Uh, you also get some basic MIDI effects as well too included in Ableton Live Lite. Uh, so if you go to the bottom of this page and I'll link this in the description, you'll see how many instrument racks, how many sounds, drum racks, MIDI clips, presets, templates, samples, all that fun stuff is included in Live Light. Uh, but let's compare Live Light to Live Intro. So our first um, edition of Live that's a paid edition is Live Intro. So um, we get four software instruments really similar to Live Light. Um, we get some similar sounds. Um, we uh, get some more features here. We get some more sounds included in. Uh, you can kind of go through and, and compare uh, what you get here. Sins and return tracks, we're, we're also limited to two there. Audio and MIDI tracks, we've doubled our count. So uh, we went from, I believe, was it eight here in Live Light? Uh, audio and MIDI tracks, we had eight there. Um, now we have 16, which is great. We have 16 scenes, uh, but we're limited to eight audio inputs and eight audio outputs. Um, complex warp modes, um, we have that included in, in intro. Uh, you can start to see, though, the things we do not have in intro that are included in other versions, uh, other editions of live. So again, um, we get some more software instruments, but we don't get all of our instruments included here. Uh, you get a couple of live packs included. It looks like one based on this. Uh, in intro, um, but you get a whole lot more audio effects in intro, which is great. Uh, but again, you don't get all of them. Now, um, let's go from intro. Let's go to standard. So let's work our way back up to this list. The biggest thing I want to point out uh, with standard. Uh, let's go back down here. Where is it? Uh, okay, so this removes the limit to audio and MIDI tracks. So we no longer have a limit to our audio and MIDI tracks. Uh, we're unlimited on scene. So as opposed to uh, 16, uh, we're unlimited and we have 12 send and return tracks. Now, I guess technically there is a limit to audio inputs, 256, and it looks like a limit to audio outputs, 256. But we could have um, unlimited amount of tracks with that, which is great. Uh, you get some extra features here, auto slicing, audio to MIDI, um, uh, Rex file support, uh, dithering, video import and export. Uh, those are those two are included there. Software instruments, uh, we get a few extra. We get the external instrument effect. We get drum sense, which is uh, which is great. Um, and then we get uh, quite a bit of live packs here. Uh, drum essentials, chop and swing, guitars and bass. And these are built in Ableton Live uh, instruments that are included or, or uh, collections of sounds that are included in Ableton Live standard. And then we go to audio effects. You'll see it starts to break and change right here. Okay. So we get a line delay, which is new to live 11.1 drum bus, dynamic tube, envelope follower. Um, uh, we, we start to get a whole lot more, uh, audio effects once we get to standard and then it stops right about here. So we don't get amp cabinet. 
Keller limiter, convolution reverb, corpus. Um, you can see the list just keeps going. Uh, there's a lot of audio effects in Ableton Live that we do not get in Ableton Live standard. So the biggest difference between standard intro and light is that standard removes our scene limitation, removes our track limitation, um, allows for unlimited tracks. That's really the thing that I, I always tell people, once you're convinced that Ableton Live is the DAW you wanna use for live performance, once you're convinced that it's the DAW you wanna use for recording, then um, upgrade to standard, either from light or from intro, upgrade to standard because it removes that track count limitation, which is great. Now let's talk about Ableton Live Suite. And then um, uh, we'll, we'll talk about, you know, kind of the main difference between Ableton Ableton Live Standard and Ableton Live Suite. Uh, and then we'll wrap up here in just a second. So the biggest difference I jumped down the page uh, for me when I think of Suite is this right here, Max for Live. So Max for Live is a visual programming language and environment that allows you to create your own devices, audio effects, instrument effects in Ableton Live. So whatever you could dream of, you can create. And it's a, a pretty simple thing to do. You don't have to be an uh, incredibly, incredibly intelligent computer programmer to do this. Um, almost anyone can create their own devices and effects uh, using Max for Live. But if that doesn't sound like something you're interested in, what's cool is you can take advantage of devices and effects that third-party developers have created. So there's a lot of great plugins that I use and like, like Setlist by Strange Electronic. Um, um, uh, you can use uh, Taz Lite, Taz Pro from Oak Tone, my buddy Jeff, uh, Ableset from my buddy Leo, which are Setlist, all three are Setlist management plugins. Those all require uh, Max for Live. You can purchase Max for Live as like an add-on for Ableton Live Standard, but I would suggest when you need Max for Live, just go ahead and upgrade to Suite. So not only do you get Max for Live, but you start to get a bunch more instruments. So you get all of the software instruments. You can see standard kind of dropped off a, a, a while ago. We get all of these instruments, including Wavetable, which is uh, one of my favorite synths, Operator, which is my favorite synth, Electric, which is a great uh, kind of... Um, uh, uh, mathematical generation of electric keyboards. It's not samples, but it sounds really, really cool. Some great effects in Suite. Uh, and then you get all of these live packs. So a lot of really great live packs. Um, electric keyboards is good. Um, let me show you one of the ones I really like. Synth Essentials is great. I've got a couple presets of mine in that one. Uh, there's some great drum stuff. Voice Box is really cool. But then you get all of the audio effects that are listed on this page as well, too. So you start to get some of these effects. We talked about Amp earlier. Um, you get those. Echo is, is just so great. Gated Delay is, is super cool. Hybrid Reverb is really fun. Pedal uh, is one of my favorite devices for sure. I absolutely love Pedal. But you start to get these effects that are not just uh, normal audio effects, but are also effects built using Max for Live. And so Suite really just opens up tons and tons of possibilities. So we've compared all the different editions. Let's try to answer what version of Ableton Live should you get? If you're uh, brand new to live, you should get Live Lite, hopefully for free with the hardware software you purchased. If not, purchase Ableton Live Intro. It's a small commitment, $99 or cheaper. Um, you download it on your computer. It, it's a small commitment for you to spend some time to go, do you like this doll? Do you, do you like the way it thinks? Do you like the workflow? Um, and if you do, then from there you decide, do I upgrade to standard or sweet? If you're running tracks in Ableton Live, then upgrade to standard. That's it. That's all you need. Just upgrade to standard and you're going to be set. If you want to produce and create your own music in live and uh, don't have a lot of plugins, external plugins that you're going to use and want sounds included in live, then upgrade to Suite. The other thing that I'll mention is if you're using standard, but you want to use Max for Live to use some great devices like Setlist, Taz Lite, Taz Pro, Ableset, um, or you're interested in creating your own Max for Live devices, you might as well just upgrade to Suite. And what's great, again, is follow that upgrade path from each one of those versions of Live, uh, and it's going to make it super, super easy to know, uh, again, exactly what version of Live you should get. And you're not going to waste money. When you get uh, uh, light for free, you can then upgrade uh, to standard. You could upgrade to suite and save money in that process, which is great. Um, if you want to support the creation of content like this, support me, support this channel, then you can use the link in the description of this video to actually purchase or upgrade your version of Ableton Live. 
directly on Ableton site. It's an affiliate link, which all that means is um, it costs you nothing extra. And I just get a little bit of your purchase as a way uh, for you to say thanks, as a way for Ableton to say thanks for me sending you to them. So if you're interested in that, and again, want to support this channel without spending any extra money, click the link in this description of this video to either purchase or upgrade your copy of Ableton Live uh, directly on Ableton site, which is the best place to get Ableton Live, by the way. Um, and also, thanks for watching this. If you enjoy it, do me a favor, hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I post new content. I post new content every single day at 10 a.m. Central. We'd love to see you uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central, the day after that. Uh, but I'll see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Take care. Bye.